we have a special treat for you guys. We have Dan with Rhino. We are here at Illinois, as we say, out the Pacific Northwest. Is that yeah. correct? Gives the city Illinois. <laughs> well, you got you got hot heat humidity here. It's a little warm today. <laughs> I've been sweating Mrs. W.O. She's like fresh as a daisy. She must be from this country. So we, uh, we're very excited. Uh, well, Rhino invited us down here for a factory tour. Uh, we get to see the assembly line for the, the TS-12. I think that we got the number one built. Is that right? Uh, we've we done quite a few. One of the, one of the <laughs> first ones. Well, we found out that several of the guys that work here on the assembly line are actually subscribers. Is that correct? Yeah. Once we uh, talked to some of the folks about the relationship that we had with Franklin Star, uh, we learned that quite a few people actually subscribe to the channel, watch the video, and they're excited to have you. They're probably as excited to meet you guys as you are to go back to the talk. Well, great. So we have a, uh, I don't know if you know about this or not, but Mrs. W and I give away pencils. A lot of people ask to buy them, but we don't sell them. If you get a pencil, it has to be from either her or me. So we brought some, uh, some pencils together. So, so can then we go surprise them? We'd love that. Let's All right, it. let's go do that. Talk to Eric now. So Eric is a subscriber. We brought him a pencil. So what are you welding here? This is a ring on a TS12. Okay, so this is the same. So you probably welded the ring on our molar then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would be good. And so what? It's holding up well. <laughs> that's all that matters, right? <laughs> and so these welds are beautiful. Do you do those as well, or are those inside a machine? I did that. You do that? I just did that. If I wish I could weld like that. I thought that that was a robot. Uh, I can feel it. I can feel it hot. So what's the trick? That's hard because it's always moving. You're always getting away from it. Well, you rest your hand on it, or no, I just you just learn to turn your wrist. Just go. So you don't you don't put a hand to rest on anything. Yeah, I kind of got this here. Three I just, I just come down like this. And roll it. Takes about four welds. I'll do, I'll do two on that side, two on this side. So I can see one, two, three, four. Right. So you do a quarter of it to stop and reposition right. yourself? Right, yeah. And so do you weld from this side and then flip it over and then weld from the other side? Yeah, I start here and I do that side first and I'll come around here and I'll tie this back in. I kinda, I did this side first. And I'll kind of run back up a little bit to kind of blend it in a little bit. Beautiful, nice, nice work. Well, I, I'm confident that my mower is not going to fall apart anytime soon. Oh, that's good. Here, yeah. Well, it's an honor to be you. This is beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you. I, uh, I wish I could weld like that. I just, uh, just amazing. You know where you were? You broke the yeah. back of the glass out of the tractor. Yeah. And you cleaned the, the ground up, the stewardship. That amazes me. Oh. I love that. I love that. That was, you know, besides your ingenuity. Know, but it's the stewardship of the land. Yeah, that, that was that that me man. That was great. Moving yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, moving on up. Good. Y'all have to take your home. All right. Thank you. See ya. in to get loaded. We can put in 5,000 pounds at a time. So that's what that stack weighs was 5,000 pounds? It's just a little bit less than that right now. But that's what it was when I put it in. And so how do you grab it? Is it just got to... Uh, we use this cradle. It's got the angle iron that goes underneath the side. And then you lock it? And then you can just pick it up and it'll move it. How long did it take you to learn how to run this thing? Well, I'd say to run it by myself about three weeks. I've been running it about five years, so. So, how long is this going to take to cut this sheet while you're standing here? About 20, 24 minutes, something like that. The thinner it is, the faster this will run. So, the 3 8 that moves real slow. We have cut uh, 14 gauge, which is just a little over the 16. I think just, you almost have to 
have a speedometer to tell how fast that is going. But it, it still does a real good job. Uh, well, it's great to meet you. Thank Thanks for showing us around. That's really interesting. How long have you been welding? Uh, since 2001. Okay. I got out of high school. So did you go to a trade school or did you I, I went to an art school actually in cast bronze and learned to weld because I kept messing up my bronze sculptures. Are you still doing art? Yeah, but mostly wood. What are you doing? And I actually, instead of art, I just invent stuff now. So we invent all kinds of things. Like what? Like what? Yeah. Uh, I took apart a. Uh, trampoline that had holes in it and I didn't want my kids putting their foot through it yeah. so I took it apart and I used the legs for saw horses that's kind of an You're adventure. Your poor kids! <laughs> but I, I give back too they have their own invention tables in my garage I mean, yeah. we keep robot parts we keep parts spare parts and everything and build robots and stuff out of them it should be fun yeah nice to meet you you as well yeah. type of the things, is Laura work on special projects or just little things that are difficult to automate? Yeah, so it's going to be the lower volume stuff primarily. So we support the parts for our machines going back sometimes for decades. How are you doing, Lauren? I'm Cody. Glad to meet you, nice Cody. Nice to meet you. 51 years, that's a long time. I have half century. So you have the funnest job here, I could tell. I enjoy what I do. So you probably come and you never know what you're going to work on. Every day's different. So did you grow up here? Yes. It, so you're from the series, how far away from here? I was born and raised about 30 miles from here and I've uh, been here all my whole life. I uh, went to the service uh, from around Clinton, Illinois and Bloomington area. And when I came back, I got a temporary job here and it's still temporary, I'm still here. I need to get up every day and have a reason to get up and go do something. Yeah. Helping other people with their stuff. And Right. Time. Enjoy watching your videos. Well, you watch them too? Oh, well, I think I got a pencil left. Well, <laughs> thank you. I collect them. So, uh, how many pencils do you have? Uh, I got over 12,500. Now, this winter, I'll update with my collection from this year and see how many. I want to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. Wow, and where do you put them all? They're in the basement in totes right now. <laughs> and the no and two alike? I try not to. But I'm sure I have a few. And yeah. so how did you get started doing that? When my father passed away, he had a little cigar box with bullet pins in it, never sharp. And I'm thinking, I want to do this. Uh -huh. But he had a cigar box full, so I am got my head heavy. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Assembling here, we, we prep it off the line in the back, uh, get all the chain guarded up, and then we move it up, drop it down on the stand, and like we do the decals, put the axles on, um, the hub, so on and so forth, and then when we get all the parts on it that's sent with it, we drop it, put the wings together with the these rods, yeah. slide the rods on the wing, that's what holds them on. And then there's a turnbuckle back here. 
attach them, and then the drive lines up to the divider, and then we fold it up. Well, what happens when you drop a big piece of hardware on this fresh new powder coat? <laughs> it it uh, seems to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> but you've so, never done that, right? No, oh, no, no. <laughs> That's why no. you got the mat right there to help with that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it sure looks nice with the powder coat on it. Yeah. So what's the hardest part to do? Uh, on these, I'd say a tire. The tires are pretty heavy to put on. They're about 70 pounds, 80 pounds. It's nice to see everything being put together. It, uh, we look at it in a different light now. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, it was really interesting to tour around and see. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Well, and I was impressed to hear how long so many people worked with. Yeah. Like you said, 13 years yeah. or 10 years. I mean, it speaks highly yeah. of the company. Yeah, we have several people that have been here since high school. Yeah. And uh, have been here 20, 30 years. So we have a pretty seasoned staff right now. Yeah. Uh, well, it's great to meet you guys. I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alright, well, keep up the good work. Watch, I'll, I'll have my mower in some videos. Okay. Yeah. I can see it in action. <laughs>